So one of the key features that a lot of people uh, have been emailing me and asking me is that, you know, I have a Word document, my manuscript is in Word document. Um, can I not just convert it into a Mobi file or an EPUB file? Okay, so this video is going to show you how to do that. I've just added this feature into the Ultimate eBook Creator and I'm going to show you right now how you can do that. Okay, so we'll go to Tools and then we'll select this Convert MS Word to option. Okay, and then you get this great big dialog box. It looks a little bit frightening, but <laughs> don't worry, it's pretty simple and I'm going to explain exactly um, what each of these features are and as, you, as you'll see it's, it's fairly simple to use. So the first thing you need to do is select your Word document. Okay so we click on this button here and what we're going to do is we are going to go to um, the um, I have a just temporarily okay so we have um, uh, a couple of documents here and um, I just want to pick the simplest, the smallest one right now and I'll click um, open. Okay, so what happens is that the Ultimate eBook Creator opens the document and reads uh, the um, uh, some of the attributes which are present inside the document. So there's two main attributes we have the summary attributes and then we have the custom attributes okay now in the summary attributes we have a lot of uh, attributes here but i'm just going to highlight the main attributes and these attributes are really important because they they will um, become the metadata um, when we uh, output to epub or mobi so these are required fields okay so the ones that we want to focus on is the author okay so make sure the author is filled out and make sure the um, the other one is the comments this is the other one now the comments is basically the same as the comments that you would type into this area here of the book description so we've got the title the book description the author publisher, keywords, etc, etc. So here we've got the author, then we've got the comments, which is the description. So make sure that's uh, filled out. If it's not filled out, basically you can, you can simply double click and then you can type in your comments here. Okay. The other one is um, title. So if we go down to title, you'll see that the title is here, right? So this is where we put the title. So those are the three main um, uh, attributes of the summary. And over here we have custom attributes. Okay, so by default, UEC adds two attributes for you. One is the editor and one is the publisher. Okay, so make sure that we have these filled out. And um, let me just show you what, what, what it looks like if you open a document without these attributes. So UEC guide, okay, so this is one of my guides. All right, so as you can see in my Word document, I don't have the author filled out. So of course I would double click and I would just type in my author name and then same for comments, you know, I would put some some description here, etc., etc. okay? So you get the idea. Now, another thing to note, and the title as well, so I'll just say UEC Guide. Okay, now another thing to note is that these attributes that we are modifying here will not be saved back into the Word document. Okay, this is the Word document being loaded into memory and the UEC reads all this information. If you make a change, it's only local. It doesn't affect this. If you want to make the change here, then obviously you'll have to load this document back up into your word processor, and then you need to um, update the properties that way. Okay, and the sa same thing here. So we can double click, we can say Nitin Publisher again. I'll just say Nitin. Okay, so once we've filled out this meta information, we have 
now three choices. Okay, so we can output this document as a MOBI file, as an EPUB file, or we can output it as a PDF, right? So um, what we're going to do is we're going to output it as a MOBI file so I can show you exactly what I mean, okay? And um, so I'm going to output as a MOBI file. Um, it's going to output to the same directory. So by default, what I do is I create the same file but with a MOBI extension. Now, if you don't like that, you can always change the name or you can click on this button and select, you know, like you can type in a different name if you want to. And the save options, by default, I have them all checked on. If you're not too sure, just leave them checked on. Um, it's fairly advanced feature of, you know, uh, creating a good quality output. But most of the time I have these checked on. So once we've got this, this we'll just simply click on convert. And it's going to go ahead and do the conversion for you straight into a MOBI file. And, and there you go. Now, as soon as I click OK, what's going to happen is it's going to bring up the Windows uh, File uh, Explorer and it's going to take you right to your file. OK, so right now, because I had this in D temp, you know, D temp folder, um, it took me to the D temp folder. OK, now, you know, once again, if I if I double click this, I can bring that into um, the Kindle desktop reader and all this I've covered all this I don't want to really talk too much about the Kindle desktop reader I've I've um, covered all this where to get this from and how to install it and all that in a previous uh, video so we go to the table of contents we see the introduction we see the guide so the navigation is all working right and then if we go to the uh, there you go. So we've got the the TOC going here. We can we can click to any uh, link and go to the page. So it did render the movie file correctly. And the next one is let's go ahead and we'll render an EPUB file. Okay. So notice what happens when I do EPUB. This extension automatically changes, so you don't have to worry too much about doing this. And I'll say convert. Okay, so done. It's converted, and here's my movie file. Now I'm using Adobe Digital Editions to actually view my movie file. Uh, sorry, I should say EPUB file. And here is my EPUB file, and here is my table of contents. Okay, I can click on Tools. It goes to Tools, and um, this is a drill down, so I can see my articles database. So. As you can see, it did render the file correctly and in EPUB format, okay? And the last one, of course, is going to be PDF. So let's generate the PDF. So I think this is a fairly decent um, feature to have. This is really good. Um, I think a lot of you guys are going to be really happy with this because I certainly am and my wife is really, really happy. That's one of the main reasons I built this. So if I just take it down to 25, so you can see. So here we've got the table of contents going here and then we've got the rest of the file. Okay. All right, so that's basically it. Um, I, thought, I hope you found the um, video helpful and I hope you find this tool helpful and we'll see you in the next video.